Hi, I am Dr. Chandrika Kulkarni. I am a fertility specialist at Cloud9, Jainagar, Bengaluru. The drugs used in the IVF, the injections, are three types basically. One is the agonist, antagonist and the gonadotrophin injections. Apart from that, there are progesterone injections as well. But let us first concentrate on the first three. One is the agonist. What are these agonist injections? There's a go by many names. Luprolide, it could be nephrolin, which is a nasal this one. But basically the used ones, the commonly used ones are the luprolide injection. A luprolide injection can be given as a depo preparation or it can be given as a daily preparation, which is usually used in agonist cycles. So in cases of long agonist protocol, what we call, we start the injections on the 21st day of the previous cycle. This is the agonist injection which goes on till the trigger injection. Now coming to the gonadotrophin injections. Gonadotrophin injections are various types. One is human menopausal gonadotrophins which are a combination of follicle stimulating hormone as well as luteinizing hormone. The other is a recombinant FSH we call it as recombinant follicle stimulating hormone or it could be recombinant luteinizing hormone. So these are the injections which are used for the IVF procedure. These help in the growth of the egg. So these injections are given from the day two of the cycle of the present cycle in which IVF is done till the egg size comes to about 18 millimeters. This help in increasing the number of eggs which are growing in that particular cycle. Aim of any IVF is to get around 8 to 10 eggs and the size of the egg should be roughly around 18 to 19 millimeters. Once this is achieved, then the trigger injection is given. Next, the third category of injection, which is antagonist injections. Antagonist injections are usually of two types. One is cetrorelix and the other one is ganirelix. These injections are started when the egg size is around 14 millimeters or the serum estradiol level has crossed 400 millimeters. This is another variety of GnRH analogs what we call. One is as I said is the agonist which is used from the previous cycle to suppress the hormones. Whereas this antagonist suppresses the hormone as and when given. So these can be used roughly about 5th or 6th day from the start of the gonadotrophin injection. So now what happens is if we use the long agonist protocol or the longer protocol in which the agonist is used, the injection number of days of injection and the number of injections increase. Whereas when an antagonist is used, antagonist roughly requires about five to six doses only. So it starts from the fifth day. First five day of the cycle, there'll be only one injection. So that decreases the number of injections and it is an easier protocol antagonist because you start on the second day of the cycle in which we are doing the IVF, unlike the agonist wherein we start on the 21st day of the previous cycle. So these three are the main injections which are involved in ovarian stimulation. Also when we talk about injections involved in the IVF, luteal phase support involves progesterone injections which can be given according to the protocol which is used. But these can also be progesterone injections can also be substituted by using gel or the capsules. So these are not that mandatory when compared to the injections in the ovarian stimulation phase.